Remember that they are changing my voice because they're jealous that I'm the top martial artist ever possible, which means I'm um, the idea that Christ coming back at the end of the Bible is superimposed on. So we see in Psalm 118 that Christ cites in the story. Christ is a character in the story, cites in the story. He says, have you never heard that the stone the builder rejected has become the key chief cornerstone, right? So the stone, right, the rock on which you build the church, uh, the stone that was used to kill Goliath, okay, people getting stoned to death, right, the foundation who lives and dies, you know, in, in God's eyes, right, who spiritually lives and dies, uh, you know, that, that humanity rejected the foolish builders, the Freemasons, the churches, the governments, every group that you see. The stone the builders has rejected has become the chief cornerstone. And I am the stone the builder has rejected. Psalm 118 says, All the nations surrounded me, but in the name of the Lord I cut them down. They surrounded me on every side, but in the name of the Lord I cut them down. They swarmed around me like bees, but they were consumed as quickly as burning thorns. In the name of the Lord I cut them down. So why? Does he go on and on about how in the name of the Lord he cut them down? If magically martial arts magically doesn't matter. You all have been lied to to the extreme. I was pushed back and about to fall, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. So in the spirit of God, in the name of God, which is the spirit of God, he strikes them down, okay, in a martial arts spirit. He strikes them down by his actions. For example, when my flesh finally dies, everyone in rebellion is going to share in guilt for killing me. Right? Jesus, Jesus preached the gospel to the world. First the blood was on the Jews, right? They said, let his blood be on us. But when Christ preached the gospel to the world um, through his followers, according to the story, okay, they're made aware of this idea one way or another of one king, one God. Now my blood is on everyone outside the divine order, and they have no possible redeemer. And for those of you who have seen my videos about Revelation, I made that clear. That that's what Revelation is about, the world being sealed in hell. That's a story for another day. Okay. So it says, the Lord is my strength and my defense. Now what does it say next? It says, shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous. The Lord's right hand, right, right hand, righteous, has done mighty things. So he's saying the Lord's has done Royal African Falcon top martial arts thing. Now let's think about this. Again, I'm not trying to assault anybody. Let's just go group for group. Okay. If this was, you know, a white martial art order, would it hit the same way? Would it have the same effect? No, because you inherently know that white people don't have the pinnacle of martial arts among them. If it was Asians, it wouldn't hit the same way. Okay, Mr. Miyagi, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, they don't have this divine martial art might. No offense. If it was Hispanics, if it was Islanders, if it was Native Americans, okay, if it was Arabs, if it was Jews, you name it. Whatever groups that I'm missing. So it has to be African. It's like the sun is referred to the bridegroom, not just another star or a tree or, or a rock. It said the sun is the symbol of the bridegroom. Okay, so we know it's a Royal African Falcon Martial Art Order. You know by their works, by the spectrum. You know by who's being sabotaged the most. You know for many reasons. No offense to anybody. I just have to clarify this. So it says, Shouts of joy and victory is out of the tents of the righteous. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. The Lord's right hand is lifted high. The Lord's right hand has done mighty things. Right? It's lifted high. It's exalted. So how would a, a, a person be exalted over everyone else? By doing the martial art acts of God. And we see in Matthew 5, that means he'll be persecuted according to the Bible and the people who reinforce that scripture. We see in, in Paul's letters, all who wish to live a God life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Christ is the character in the story said they persecute me, they'll persecute you too. No servant can be greater. Pretty straightforward. So this definitively points to me as Christ. Definitively. 
And when we get into Psalm 65 and Psalm 66, you'll see that it flat out says that this is how God communicates to them through the top martial artist. It says it almost in those words, how clearly it's saying that. A lot of people, when they're reading through this, they overlook it. Now, I probably overlooked it the first time I read it or so. Okay, but it's pointing right to that. 